Hello everyone, you're watching the Rare Earth Ceramics channel. I'm Alex and today I want to show you how to make one of these little mountain trinket boxes. It's pretty simple. Here I have a finished one that's uh, glazed. It's a different design. It's like the Great Pyramid. So follow along. Watch how we do it. First, I'm going to start out with the slab of clay that I've rolled out. I got a triangle template I've made. I'm going to trace around it with my needle tool to cut out the clay. I'm going to take the scraps and put them to the side. Now you're going to want to bevel the edges. You can either use a X-Acto knife or I have a bevel tool. It comes in real handy. First, I mocked it up just to get an idea, but I suggest you go ahead and bevel it first and just go ahead and assemble it. See, I unfold it and start beveling the edges. This takes away a little bit of material so that the corners come together better and more even. Now I'm using my scoring tool and I'm scoring the edges that I beveled where they come together and meet. I'm starting to raise two of the walls and blending the seam together, the corner. I just start working each side together to try to fuse it together strongly. I have a ball tool that I will start to work the inside of and smooth everything out. Here I wet the other two corners and bring up the last wall, start blending them together roughly. I try to tap it down softly to keep the bottom flat. I pinch the corners together to try to make it stronger. And I grab a wooden tool I like to use and I just really try to blend the clay from each wall over to try to make sure there's no cracking later on, make for a very strong structure. After I do that I smooth it out and try to make it look nice. And I did that on all three sides. Kelly comes over and helps me trace on the snow cap, which is also going to be the lid for this little container. This is just to get an idea of what it's going to look like and where you want your lines and where you want to cut. You can easily, if you're chasing softly, go back and smooth the lines back over and erase them start over. Here we're altering the pattern a little bit. Now that you got your design traced out, we're going to go ahead and start cutting the top off. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife. And try to be careful not to cut close to your hand. Think about each pass you're taking. In here I kind of saw back and forth to help me stay in the line. When you're carving stuff out like this, you want to try to cut away from your hand as much as physically possible. And also, just keep a good distance between your hand and the blade, just in case the blade slips. So I've cut out completely around the mountain, 
and now I'm trying to take the top off. There's a couple of pieces hanging up that I'm going to have to cut. Just go back over sometimes you miss a few spots. Now that I got the top off, I'm just patching up a little piece that came out. I'm going to start trying to blend the inside of the two corners I wasn't able to reach when I first put the box together. And I'm also just going to smooth everything up a lot so that they're trying to take down some of the sharpness and the uh, jaggedness on the cuts. I'm just using a ball tool. Every now and then I'll put a little water on it. Just finishing up the top and the bottom of the mountain, trying to smooth all the edges over and finish it off, make it look really nice. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and follow us along the way. And I'll leave the link tree in the description. You can try to follow us on social media, check out our store. Like, comment, subscribe. Please uh, let us know if you want us to do a video tutorial making anything else. Thank you.